All this week, here we are talking about hope, powerful hope, biblical hope, Christ-given hope. What I want to do for us right now, though, is I want to get a little bit practical. Let's say um, we're fighting for hope. Let's say we don't have a hope that we feel in our lives right now. What do we do about that? How can we grow? He's saying, Robbie, how can you help me to see hope and faith fill my life? And really, that word there with hope is so key, faith. How do I increase my faith? Because when I have more faith, I see the hope, I feel the hope, I start to live the hope. Well, it really is simple. Now, I say simple, but it's not easy. And those are two different things, okay? The simplicity of it is this. If I want to have a growing faith and if I want to see hope fill my life, I must speak God's word to myself. Or you can say it this way. I must preach the gospel to myself. I must renew my mind. And I just even encourage you out loud to do this to yourself that you wake up in the morning and you remind yourself of where hope is found and why we place and where we place our faith in. So let's just do a practical example right now from the Bible. Let's take Romans 8, verse 31, and a few verses following that. We're trying to fill our lives with hope. We need to preach the gospel to ourselves, okay? So in verse 31, it says this. If God is for us, who can be against us? That's a good one. I like that one. If God is for us, who can be against us? Are you saved in Jesus Christ? Are you filled with the hope? Do you know him? Well, then here's your truth right now. God is for you. And if God is for you, he tends to win. And when God wins, that means whoever opposes you in the end, they will fail, they will lose. Just take that truth right now. Don't question it, believe in it. If God is for you, you are guaranteed to be on his side and you are guaranteed victory. That fills us with faith. And when we have great faith, we have hope. Later on within Romans uh, chapter 8 and verse 34, it says, who is to condemn? And it goes on to explain that if you're in Christ, no one can condemn you. Not a person, not Satan, because Jesus Christ says you are innocent. So you're receiving lives right now. In Jesus' name, you say, you cannot condemn me because I am saved in Jesus Christ. Oh, I just felt some faith enter my life and I felt some hope as well. How about this in verse 35? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? And the answer in short is nothing and no one. No one ever will separate us and nothing, no situation will ever separate us from the love of Christ. You gotta apply that. You gotta say that out loud and say, I'm a child of God. I cannot die. I have his love. His love will never, ever, ever leave me. I believe Leave it by faith and wow, I I feel the hope coming into my life again. And this process I'm doing, even as I say this, I am being impacted by God's word because it's God's truth. That I know, I know in verse 39, neither height, depth, anything else in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is found in Christ Jesus. That is faith, that is hope, that is taking God at his word. Man, apply that now and your day, I promise, will be different today. In Jesus' name, you're so loved.